Oh, sweetie, what are you doing out here by yourself? You look dead inside. Oh my god, you really look dead inside. Just like me when I don't have my Starbucks cappuccino. Well, sweetheart, you're not even wearing shoes. Come on, come on, let me, let me bring you inside. Come, come, come. How long have you been out there? A quite a while? Or so, or something? Four hours. You've been out there four hours. Oh my god. You sit down. Are you hungry? I can make you Swedish meatballs. Cookies? Alright. Swedish meatballs it is. Anyways. What's your name? Before I start or anything. Oh. Okay, I like that name. It's a nice name. My name is Tiffany. Tiffany. <laughs> you can call me Tiff for short. I mean, Chucky calls me that. But to get to point, I've heard so much about you. And you seem very broken. Yeah, the other slasher girls told me. Oh my god. You really did it. You know. You have two women in your life that loves you. You know, to be honest, I think you should just go with the quiet type. Quiet type seems very, and I mean very sweet. Yeah, I think so. But let me tell you, Girls and guys make you feel like you were when you was outside walking barefooted for four hours. I tell you, I was like that one time when I was dealing with Chucky. I mean, me and Chucky had our ups and downs. We argued. We had relationship problems. We had a lot going on. We had a lot of problems and a lot of issues. And... I mean, it, besides the whole entire marriage part, I'm just saying in relationships in general, relationships are very difficult to deal with. I mean, some of it is easy, some of it is hard, because you don't understand what they go through, or what have they been through already. Are you catching on what I'm trying to say? If not, it's fine. All right. I may not be the best person in my life and in my past life, okay, but there's ways to change a person and there's ways to help a person in both friendship and the dating side of a relationship. Everybody goes through something every day. It may not be in the past or the future, but it's always every day. People have tough times going through the things that they go through. Some people may not understand. Um, also, people have strange ways of showing their emotions or bottling up their emotions. And I, to be honest, I think bottling up your emotions is a bad thing. It leads to anything bad. And what I mean by that is you end up exploding like a ticking time bomb. Like Chucky, for example. He holds in whatever emotion except 
anchor. And then, you know, Chucky. And he's having it. And he doesn't enjoy showing any other emotion. He just shows that. And what he has, of course, is just a lot of things. That's all. No, I mean, I do, like I said, I do have relationship problems sometimes, but this isn't about me. It's about you. It's about you. You need to help yourself. You have to have yourself heal. Heal yourself. Self-care. I mean, you, you can have a spa day anytime you want. Of course, you're always welcome here. But you need to work on yourself. You need to sit down and think about what you can improve yourself with. You need to figure out things for yourself. I mean, it's fine to have help. It's fine to talk to people. But you need to figure out this situation about yourself. Oh my god, you sound like a therapist. <laughs> that means I'm doing one hell of a job. Anyways, <clears throat> you need to figure it out. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and try, and I mean try, something to not only help yourself, but you emotionally, mentally, and physically, in so many other ways. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, hey, I do not want to be like this anymore. I want to be a new person. I want to view myself a different perspective. I know relationships do hurt both friendship and romantically. It does. It's part of life. It's a way of learning. I mean, you probably got used, abused, and so many other things. But when you find that person that you have feelings for, and that person that you find one day as a friend or partner, they can heal you. They can make you feel ten times better than you are. They will shine a light during your darkest times. And I mean that. They will have an open door for you. It's just for you. You need to trust them. That's all. You need to trust them. You need to accept that hand that they give you. But I'm not saying you trust anybody that you see. Of course, you have to be picky. And of course, you have to be, you know, trustful and see if they are what you expected them to be or who they are, of course. Of course, you gotta look out. Because not everybody is your friend, or no, everybody not gonna be your lover, of course. <sighs> Anyways, I'll start on Swedish meatballs, okay? You stay here, and you can watch TV, okay? That's a good little pumpkin. <laughs>